Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. My name's Jonathan. I make luxury videos, unboxings, and reviews. And today is gonna be all about my luxury firsts. So let's get into it. get started with today's video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it really does help my channel grow i make videos every friday on luxury content men's style luxury unboxings you name it it's here on this channel so if you like that kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to hear my luxury first then keep on watching so i was scrolling through youtube and i was trying to figure out if anybody has done this tag this is going to be a tag video i will leave a bunch of people in the description box below if you want to go ahead and do this tag if you're not in the description box still go ahead and do it i would love to hear your luxury first the reason why i thought about this is because i was scrolling through youtube and i was wondering what would be these luxury youtubers first items I know in the luxury community, we talk about, oh, this bag will be great for your first purchase. This SLG will be great. But in reality, sometimes it's not actually our very first purchase. So I was curious to see what everybody's first luxury pieces would be. So I'm going to be sharing with you my first SLG, my first accessory, my first shoe, and my first handbag. So let's get into it. So my very first SLG from a luxury brand is going to be from the brand Gucci. So as you can tell, this is a very, very old Gucci packaging. I want to say I purchased this about 10 years ago or so. I honestly can't remember. At the time, I want to say it retailed for about 200 Canadian dollars. And the reason why I went with Gucci because it was a little bit more affordable for my budget at the time. And I couldn't afford like Louis Vuitton or like Hermes or even like Prada, for example. So I ended up going with Gucci. It was a little bit more affordable, as I mentioned. It did come in this little packaging right here. And then the a wallet that I did get was this guy. I absolutely love, love, love this piece to death. As you can see, it got a tremendous amount of wear. This was honestly my very first luxury piece. I'm not going to include any contemporary brands because I did start off contemporary, such as like Coach and Michael Kors. I wanted to just strictly focus on like the luxury houses. So my very first luxury wallet was from Gucci. I think I paid, like I mentioned, about 200 Canadian dollars, which was a lot of money for me back then. It still is considered a lot of money today, don't get me wrong, but for a luxury wallet, it's probably like unheard of now. Um, so I absolutely love this wallet. I like the fact that it had like this little elastic band here with the Gucci web, so that way it could keep the wallet closed because one of my fears and my mom instilled into me that you don't wanna have your wallet like open and exposed. So the fact that it had like this little uh, strap here to keep your wallet closed was an absolute win for me. So I honestly use this guy to death and I honestly did not take care of it. As you can see, the pattern is kind of like fading. The material is really rubbed. It honestly has had its day. Um, I still keep it because I'm a very huge sentimental person. So I obviously have to keep this into my collection, but this is going to be my very first luxury SLG. So my next item is going to be an accessory. My very first accessory from a luxury house is going to be obviously from Louis Vuitton. So this is probably what jump started my luxury addiction for Louis Vuitton specifically. So as you can tell, this is like very vintage, very old school packaging. So it was in the brown box that it came with. And I honestly was devastated when I stepped on the box by accident. But I do keep my Louis Vuitton scarf in here. Honestly, I love this scarf to death. I wish I wore it a little bit more. If I'm going to be completely honest, I wear my Burberry silk one a lot more than this one. Just because of the fact that this scarf when I started to wear it instantly, started to snag right away. And being my first luxury uh, luxury accessory, sorry, I honestly didn't know what snagging was. Um, I'm gonna admit, I didn't do a lot of research when I purchased this. This was honestly really affordable in my opinion. At the time, I believe I paid about 400 Canadian dollars. And in my mind, $400 for anything Louis Vuitton was really great in my opinion. But uh, one thing that I do wish or do kind of regret about it is the fact that it does snag. So that's why I don't really tend to gravitate towards like wool scarves just because of how OCD I am. And I honestly like notice all the little like imperfections in there. But honestly, it's it's meant to be worn. I am probably gonna wear it a lot more this winter, but like as you can see here, there's just a lot of snagging here. 
and to be uh, to be honest my Burberry silk scarf does not snag that easily and so I use that one a lot more and I'm a little bit more carefree but anytime that I wear this one I'm always constantly making sure that I don't get a zipper caught in there or like I'm just constantly like babying this thing so this was honestly going to be my first luxury accessory and it was from Louis Vuitton so the next item that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video is my first designer shoe so that is going to be from Christian Louboutin these are the black calf skin leather in the Louis flat um, style. As you can see, it is from Christian Louboutin because of the red bottom. I absolutely love, love, love these shoes. When I wanted to get a very first pair of designer shoes, I instantly thought of Christian Louboutin. I don't know about you, but for me, Christian Louboutin is like a staple for shoes. So I instantly gravitate towards that fashion house compared to like Louis Vuitton or like Prada or even Gucci. So for my very first luxury shoe, I had to have a Christian Louboutin shoe, whether it be a, a high top, whether it be a short top, whether it just be like a dress shoe, like I just needed to get something from Christian Louboutin as my very first shoe. And to be honest, I have no regrets. I highly recommend picking up a pair of Christian Louboutins if you're looking for a good designer shoe. Yes, I'm going to be completely honest. They are not the most comfortable, <laughs> but beauty is pain, as I like to say, or how is always said in the luxury community. So honestly, these are really great. And I just love the red bottom. Like who doesn't love a red bottom? So these were my very first designer shoe. I do have a shoe collection video, so these stemmed a lot more designer purchases. And hands down, Christian Louboutin, I will always gravitate towards because the other designers, the other designer shoes that I do have are great in my opinion, but these ones I always just gravitate towards a little bit more. So my very first designer shoe is going to be from Christian Louboutin. So last but certainly not least is going to be my very first luxury handbag. So as you probably can tell from a lot of my videos, you see this particular bag in a lot of my backdrops and it is going to be my Louis Vuitton Sac Adores Pack All. So I actually did purchase this vintage, I did purchase it used, but I have no regrets whatsoever. I personally was not a huge handbag person to begin with and I want to say in the last like two years or so, I really started to just gravitate towards more bags. For me personally, before I did not really carry any bags with me. At most, I would be carrying a backpack or if, if I didn't want to carry anything at all, everything would be going into my pockets. So when I first wanted to look for a bag, I wanted it to be a little bit more versatile. I didn't want it to be so super like flashy in a sense that like everybody was like knew that it was like a brand new bag. So I wanted to go with something used and I wanted to go with something that was more versatile so I can use it in multiple ways because I am a huge advocate for wear per use as a lot of us are in the luxury community. So I wanted to make sure that I got my money's worth because for me spending 500 to to $1,000 on a handbag was a lot of money to do for something that's just carrying your stuff. So this bag, honestly, I've used in several different ways. I use it as like a little carry on. The straps are removable so I can use it as a shoulder bag as I currently am using it as for right now. I can take off the straps and make it into like a mini backpack. There's so many different ways for me to go about using this and I honestly use this bag every single day. I carry it to work, if it's my work laptop, if it's my regular laptop, if it's my lunches, if it's all the essentials that I need to do and carry with me on a daily basis. So I absolutely love, love, love this bag. And the canvas of Louis Vuitton, as we all know, is very carefree. Anything gets on there, I can just wipe it with the exception of like hand sanitizers and stuff like that. But honestly, this makes it very carefree. And the fact that it does have a lot of like vachetta, but because I got it used, I honestly don't mind it because it had its imperfections already. So this was my very first handbag and this is probably what stemmed me to be a little bit more of a handbag freak now where I go and purchase so many different bags. I have the Palm Springs Mini now, I have the Nano Speedy, I have the Pochette Accessoire bum bags. I have so many different bags now. So this is the bag that really jump started my handbag craze. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. This was all about my luxury firsts. If you want to do this video, I will leave a bunch of people tagged down below. But as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 
anybody is more than welcome to do this tag. I would love to hear what your luxury firsts were in different categories. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.